Welcome, dear viewers, to Couch Warrior TV on YouTube. I am the Couch Warrior, and you are watching The Passage, a Skyrim SE Let's Play featuring Etienne Jorel, the Aldmer Ranger. Welcome back to the story, everybody. And what could be a nice day in Skyrim looks like it might actually clear up for us. Well, we've got a date with destiny, do we not? So we have recovered the stone. We have promised to return the stone to the Jarl. Um, however, I think there's some things that What's we can take care of. You can't stand the side of a strong Nord woman. Oh, I like strong Nord women. In fact, I'm going where you're going. I miss the days when the Greymanes and Battleborns got along. Ever since the war started, we've been at each other's throats. Mm -hmm. Going to work? Can I come? Hey, bud. You tried mercenary work? Yeah. It might yeah, I just did some. It was great. Oh, there she goes. Oh, this must just be for exercise. Okay. All right, enough with that. All righty, so let's let's level up. How about that? Let's level up. Bam. All right. This is going to be our last investment in health. This gets us to 250, at least for the time being. So at this point uh, onward, we're going to be... Uh, investing in stamina until further notice. Um, with this perk, let's see, we're at 34. Let's just double check. Yeah, okay. So we're going to invest in one-handed, and there's a lot of really great things we could invest in here, but what I'm thinking about is Disciplined Fighter to reduce the stamina cost of our power attacks. Now, we actually uh, do really, really well at stealth kills now. Um, but as we've seen, we don't always get the opportunity for stealth kills. So I want to make sure that I'm doing everything I can to make sure Etienne can function well as a stand-up fighter. Disciplined Fighter is going to reduce our stamina cost and actually play well with this big investment in stamina that, that we're making. So I think this is really good. So we're going to go with that. Now, what I also like about it is it opens up this interesting perk, Rogue's Parry. Um, when wielding a one-handed weapon and, any, any, and an empty other hand, attacking with the weapon while the opponent, opponent is winding up their attack or drawing a bow deals 40% more damage and delivers a critical strike. I love this idea, right? Where this this will actually bring some um, sort of a, a technical element into the way we fight with our daggers. It it keeps us from having a situation where all we do is flurry power attacks and uh, makes our knife fighting a bit more strategic, right? So I love that idea. So we're going to work on that. But if you'll notice, we are on our way to level 35. And of course, what happens at level 35? Well, uh, we get our bonus perk. So the plan is that at level 35, we'll have um, one perk to invest. I'm not sure where that's going to be yet. One-handed, uh, could be archery, uh, could possibly be alchemy again. However, with our bonus perk, I'm already committing that bonus perk to getting us a little further up the smith smithing tree here to expert smithing, where we are going to select the hard steel option which is going to open up scaled plate and Nordic equipment for us. And that's going to be a good one because there's lots of new 
and interesting armor and weapon options that will open for us at that point. Um, so, overall, I think that'll be a really excellent choice. Now, I have added a couple of additional mods here. Very important. One of the mods I have added is the Black Mage Armor mod. And this adds a lot of different and sort of interesting pieces that can be mixed and matched. That's what I really like about it. We have light armor options, clothing options, and heavy armor options. Now, none of the heavy armor options are open to us yet, but some of those will start to open up when we take that next step in smithing, which I think will be really interesting. Uh, in the meantime, I do like the light armor options. There's a number of things in here that are very cool and interesting, and I like the fact that they come in lots of separate pieces that can be mixed and matched. The other thing I did was invest in one of my favorite mods, uh, the leather backpack. And so we're probably going to be making ourselves a leather backpack at some point. I consider this to be more of a streamlined backpack. It's a smaller backpack, something that we will use for you know, overnight or day missions. Um, uh, I've long thought that the idea of... Got some good pieces out here if you're the idea of Etienne having to go on stealth missions basically looking like a panhandler was a little bit ridiculous. Um, so what we'll be doing is, is we'll be looking to, you know, set up some more permanent residences, some permanent camps where we can stash things then we can take a smaller, lighter, more streamlined pack and we can go and, and do specific missions. And at that point, I think we'll also benefit from the upgrades and smithing because we'll be able to create specialized gear for particular kinds of missions, which is something that I really, really enjoy doing. So that's going to be great. And then from there, up the smithing tree, it's just a another short hop to exotic you smithing. And that gets us to a point where we can start crafting um, better arrows. We can tap into some new weapon options. All kinds of interesting things open up for us then. So it's very, very cool. But for now, ah, we are still, him. you know, Etienne, sort of the ragtag looking mercenary. I suppose you don't need to worry about that. Which I really like. Um, he's just really kind of organic the way that he's grown. So it's been very cool. Now you remember in the last episode, at the end of the episode, I said that I was going to do some looking around and figure out what was going on with smithing. Well, I did dig around a little bit in the console commands and um, all of the items... All of the smithing items are still there. I mean, you can find, you know, stall rim gauntlets of major smithing and, you know, all the rings and all the items are there. But as far as I can tell, they have, in fact, been removed from the leveled lists um, that the merchants use to kind of present you with inventory for sale. And that also affects things like, you know, any chests that are using those same leveled lists for loot and stuff like that. Um, I cannot be sure which mod it is that's doing that. I, I still suspect that it's Ordinator. And, uh, you know, that's fine. There are a plethora of different ways that we can actually upgrade our gear. Um, so we still have not hit the ceiling on smithing with our existing gear. We haven't hit the ceiling with alchemy. Um, stuff like that. So I'm not going to worry about it too much now. But there may come a time when we may have to take the, take the step of disenchanting something. And I'm going to give that some more thought and think about how we would play that out. So, What is it, Elf? I'm the commander of the guard here in Whiterun. My boys will keep you safe. Don't you worry. Congratulations. Ah, Proventus. Hey, I was trying to talk to you before. Sorry to interrupt your meal. I, sir, the Jarl is, as you can imagine, 
very That's busy. why I'm talking to you. Perhaps I can yeah. assist you. The bandit leader at Valtheim Tower is dead. Here's the bounty. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. Right. Oh, what's you see, this? The terminology is clearly First Era or even earlier. I'm convinced this is a copy of a much older text. Perhaps dating to just after the Dragon War. If so, I could use this to cross-reference the names with other later texts. Good. I'm glad you're making progress. My employers are anxious to have some tangible answers. Oh, have no fear. The Jarl himself has finally taken an interest. Ah! The Dragon Stone of Bleak Falls Barrow! Seems you are a cut above the usual brute the Jarl sends my way. Who are you calling a brute? Well, okay, fine. I'm a brute. Uh, okay. So, yeah, here's your Dragon Stone. Looks interesting. So, what's next? That is where your job ends and mine begins. The work of the mind. Sadly undervalued in Skyrim. Hmm. My associate here will be pleased to see your handiwork. She discovered its location by means she has so far declined to share with me. So your information was correct after all. And we have our friend here to thank for recovering it for us. You went into Bleak Falls Barrow and got that? Nice work. Just send me a copy when you decide. Thanks, I guess. Barangar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. What? You should come too. Mm, a dragon? Great. How exciting. Where was it seen? W what was it doing? Who I is she? This a bit more seriously she seems familiar. You. If a dragon decides to attack Wyfron, we've got nothing to talk about. Hey, I could make you a new hood that goes better with that armor. Alright. Well, I better catch up. So, you were left tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. Oh, that's right. Let's zoom so around, get a better view on the conversation. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the watch? I like this scene. No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never you get a so fast in my life. Nice picture of I what kind of leader Balgraf is. Sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the I think a good one, a compassionate one. You've earned it. Irlet, Etienne will notice that. Get down there. I've already ordered my men <clears throat> to in the main gate. Irlet seems very Don't competent fail. as well. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. Oh man, here it I comes. I want you to go with Irlet and help her fight this dragon. Here it comes. You survived Helgen. So you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. Look, sir, I just but saw I it from a distance. The service you did for me in retrieving the no, dragon stone listen. for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici oh, that you are please. now permitted to purchase property in the city. Oh God! And please, accept no, no this gifts. Gift I don't. I don't need any gifts. That. You should come along. I would very much like uh... to see this dragon. No, I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you right. command. One last thing, Irileth. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of caution. I can get on board with the no death idea. All right. What do we know of dragons? absolutely nothing. They're not like anything we've hunted. We haven't spent a lot of time hunting flying creatures of any kind. Etienne's gonna be turning over in his mind um, how the hell to fight something like a dragon. The guards in Dragon Street say you aided the yard. On behalf of White Run, I thank you. Well, you're welcome. All right, I guess the key is to bring it down. Now we're going to have to pull out all the stops on this one. I mostly deal with petty thievery and drunken brawls. I wonder if the legends are true that dragons 
breathe fire. If it is true, and I suspect it is, given the condition of Helgen, we've got to take that into consideration when looking for firing positions. We need cover. Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. So Etienne's kind of in his own little world here, probably kind of staring into space as he walks, as he's trying to come up with a strategy for how to fight a creature like a dragon. Um, I'm guessing he's perhaps a little bit shell-shocked. A dragon is attacking the Western Watchtower. A dragon? Now we're in for it. <laughs> now we're in for it. Right. I said a dragon. I don't much care where it came from or who sent it. What I do know is that it's made the mistake of attacking Whiterun. I love How could we fight the dragon? taking in these kinds of exchanges from Etienne's perspective, you know? Classic military pep talk, something he's probably heard before. This dragon is threatening our homes, our families. Could you call yourself Nords if you ran from this monster? Are you going to let me face this thing alone? No, no, so I'll dead. Start. But it's more than our honor at stake here. Think of it. The first dragon seen in Skyrim since the last age. The glory of killing it is ours. Well, hand it to her. She's got... Me. She's got balls now, of steel. Shall we go Maybe Corundum. Yeah, damn yeah. right. Ebony? Let's move out. Let's see if they all come. Ah, they are. Must have worked. She seems like a good leader. All right, Western Watchtower. Must be there. Well, it may be a blessing that it's a clear day. <sighs> Better chance of getting a getting a clear shot at the thing, I guess. This will be interesting. Completely different strategy. I mean, normally if, if you're out hunting and you're, you know, hunting creatures that have flight capability, you're not necessarily worried about them attacking you in return. Um, wait, where did the tower go? Oh, <laughs> oh this is a mess. All right, let's get a look. These signs of life? Doesn't look like it. No signs of any dragon right now. No signs of any people either. It looks like he's been here. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. If that dragon is still skulking around somewhere, spread out and look for survivors. We need to know what we're dealing with. All right, let's double check and see what we've got active here. I guess instincts will do. We find some survivors. At least one. No, get back. It's still here somewhere. Crocky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. God, I guess this God, is real. What happened here? Where's this dragon? Quickly now. I don't know. Smoke is bad. Here he comes again. 
There it is. Every arrow count. Every arrow count. Look at it. It's huge. Whoa. The smoke is not good. Get out of there, you idiot. Too close. Too close. All right. That guy got in way too close. Not sure if there's anything we can do to save him at this point. But we're going to pull out all the stops. We'll use whatever we've got. Who knows what kind of poison would actually work, if, if any poison would work at all, on a dragon, but... Etienne is willing to try. Get it. Come on, you bastard. There it is, the killing blow. Look at the thing. All right. Don't take any chances. There's no guarantee it's down, right? Etienne's going to be pretty cautious about this. It looks dead. I would say to him that's not an unfamiliar feeling. It may be similar to what he feels when he stands in front of the dragon walls, but much, much more intense. What just happened? Never seen a creature die in that manner. Look at the size of it. We're talking about a man who's seen some things. Nothing like this. My guess is that... To this point, he's probably been wondering if he dreamed the whole thing of seeing the initial dragon at Helgen. Wow. Look at it. Gonna take a scale and a bone. It's proof that it's real. Where did everyone go? Hey, aren't you gonna come and check this out? It's it's unbelievable. Hey, come and take a look. I can't believe it. You're dragonborn. <clears throat> uh, what do you mean? In the very oldest tales, <coughs> when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. I don't know. I don't know what happened. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. That would prove it. What? According to the old legends, only the dragonborn can shout without training, the way the dragons do. Shout? Shout what? Oh, sorry. I've never heard of Tiber Septim killing any dragons. There weren't any dragons then, idiot. They are just coming back now for Got the first time. Too close. Time. Forever. Brave. Too close. Say you left, being awfully quiet. Come on here, then. 
tell us, do you believe in this Dragonborn business? <laughs> Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. Here's a dead dragon, and that's something I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill them. I'm glad you're on but our side. I don't side. need some mythical dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You wouldn't understand, Hauskar. You ain't at all. I've been all across Tamriel. I've seen so plenty of things just as outlandish. Burning tower. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. That was shouting what you just did. Must be. Really are Dragonborn then. Hmm. I agree with Irolith. Trust in your sword arm. Now what? That was the hairiest fight I've ever been in, and I've been in more than a few. I don't know about this Dragonborn business, but I'm sure glad you're with us. You better get back to Whiteline right away. Yarl Balgraf will want to know what happened here. I suppose. Carrying a message double time seems like a job for the ranger. Let's cut overland here. Shave some time off. That was incredible. Wow. Hard to know what to think. For right or wrong, Etienne considers himself to be a simple man. I think we all know that he's much more complicated than even he realizes. But this is a whole new level of complication. You guys like how I'm playing this out? <laughs> you know, it's as if I've never experienced it before, but I've been through it a thousand times. Um, that's kind of the, I guess, the magic of role play, you know, suspend disbelief and uh, experience it through your character's eyes. That's the amazing thing about the whole deal, I think. Um, and that's why this game has so much playability because I can come through here and I can experience all of these same old quests as Etienne and there's something special about his experience. It's almost like, you know, when you've seen a really good movie and you go to see it a second time with a friend who hasn't seen it? It sort of feels like that, right? I feel like I'm riding along with Etienne and just watching him experience these things. And I know it seems like strange to think of it that way, but I do. Look, you already have been told you're not allowed here. Turn around and go back the way you came. We're causing no trouble. All we ask is to look for her. I don't care what you're doing. After what happened, you're lucky I don't toss you in jail. Now get lost. We will be back. This is not over. You there. We're looking for someone in Whiterun. And we'll pay good money for information. Huh. Who are you looking for? Someone with a scar? A woman. A foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. She is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in Whiterun, so we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. Why are you looking for this person? It's none of your concern. All you need to know is that we're paying for information. If that doesn't interest you, feel free to walk away. Well, don't expect any information from me without an explanation for why you're looking for this person. Who are you looking for again? 
We're looking for a fugitive who comes from Hammerfell. A Redguard woman. She may be somewhere in this city. If you locate her, find us in Rorikstead. Yeah, we'll see. You haven't given me much incentive. So at this point, we're basically with the, the crazy events that have been going on here, Etienne is kind of caught up in the moment, right? He's throwing caution to the wind. He's going straight in and out the front door. Uh, we've still pre preserved our anonymity for the most part by concealing our features. But, uh, yeah, I mean, he's not bothering with secret doors. He's not bothering with stealth. He's... And I, I think that... On a personal level, this is Etienne getting caught up in the events, but also, I, I think it's also a sign of, of him sort of subconsciously beginning to feel more integrated with the people in the culture here, um, feeling more like a citizen than a stranger. Good. You're finally here. The Jarl's been waiting for you. Oh, okay. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. Who? We were just talking about you. My brother needs a word with you. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? Yeah, it was a mess. The Watchtower was destroyed, but we killed the dragon. I knew I could count on Irileth. <coughs> there must be more to it than that. Yes, Irolith is an excellent leader. When the dragon died, I absorbed some kind of power from it. Dragonborn. Nope, not what, what I selected. What do you know about the Dragonborn? Time to get the uh, improved dialogue boxes mod. I'm going to have to check and see if that has been added to Nexus. It takes care of this stupid selection option. Um... <clears throat> That's just what the men called me. Not just the men. The Greybeards seem to think the same Who thing. are the Greybeards? The Greybeards? Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion high on the slopes of the throat of the world. Oh. Well, what do they want with me? The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the Voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a I'm sort of glad Irolith is here shot. for this. <laughs> if you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? Of course. That was the voice of the Grey. Of course, I heard it. Summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rungar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, dragonborn. <coughs> Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred <sighs> traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Rungar, don't be so hard on Avenich. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that... What do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeard's business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. Oh, man. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. Ugh, what happens if I delay? I envy you, you know. To climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very oh. disconnected from the troubles of this Sounds world. Sounds nice. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. <sighs> no matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. <coughs> By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within oh, my no. power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal No, no, I don't... 
And this weapon from my Sir, I don't need to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify <sighs> my guards of your new title. No, don't want don't bother. No, no. Now, would we? we are honored to have you as thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back Make a to move business, Provenza. We still have dead. a city to defend. Yes, my lord. We can never rest easy, for Balgraf's enemies will not. Hey, uh, I serve Jarl Balgraf your battle, as friend. steward. Thanks. Um. You are a welcome guest, but you must still respect the rules of the Jarl's household. Hey, that's what is it that no you problem. Need? Actually, I'd sort of like to talk to Irolith you are privately, a guest, if you don't mind. But you right? must still respect the rules of the Jarl's household. Hey. Yes, Sarah? So... How did a dark elf come to be House Carl? Balgraf and I share a battle bond. We met as youth and forged our friendship in the fires of war. Oh. When he became Jarl, I insisted on serving as his protector. He had no cause to argue. Gods, you are curious. Almost dangerously so. <laughs> well, I, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be forward. It's just that, uh, well, I've noticed that a lot of the Jarls here keep non-Nord advisors in House Carls. So what exactly does a House Carl do? I am charged with protecting the Jarl from any and all threats. Powerful men have many enemies, more so in times of strife. So you can imagine the dangers. Right. Oh, yes. There have been attempts on the Jarl's life. More than one would-be assassin has met his end at the tip of my blade. I bet they have. What threats does the Jarl face? Take your pick. Dragons, Stormcloak assassins, ambitious and unscrupulous nobles. Sometimes I think his own children want him dead. And those are just the physical threats. Assaults on his sanity are another matter entirely. Every day, he deals with obsequious functionaries and incompetent bureaucrats. Sadly, I'm not allowed to eliminate them. <laughs> well, not yet, anyway. <laughs> She's got ambition. I like that. <sighs> Stormcloak assassins. I've got my eyes on you. Yeah, that's fine. Got my eyes on you as well. Need something? No, could use some advice, but I have a feeling I'm not going to get it from you. Now what? This is exactly the opposite of what the Hound wanted. He doesn't want this kind of notoriety. He doesn't want titles. He doesn't want land. He doesn't want the guards to know to leave him alone. He doesn't want any of that. The other thing that's an issue here, too, is that I think from what we've seen so far, Etienne definitely has some Stormcloak leanings when it comes to his beliefs. Balgruf is considered at this point to be largely, you know, undecided, not coming down on one side or the other. But the fact that the Stormcloaks are supposedly sending assassins after him is alarming. Because Etienne's got a lot of respect for Balgraf and Irolith after all of this. Tons of respect for them. Um, you know? So, there's reason to believe that he would be somewhat conflicted over all of these events. So, I think that what this means for Etienne is that he understands that there's going to be there's going to have to be a further exploration of the beliefs and positions of Balgraf and his government in order for him to fully appreciate the complexities of the conflict i think up to this point he was really kind of looking at the whole conflict as a fairly straightforward issue um starting with this freedom of of religion issue but it's more than that the Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. <sighs> Great. 
So what does it mean to be Thane? I don't really get it. The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the Hold. A hero. The title of Thane is an honor. A gift for your service. Guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. All right. Well, hey, uh, I appreciate that you've been assigned to be my protector, but I don't really require one. Until next time. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it has been an interesting, interesting series of events. In less than 48 hours, we have gone from being sort of a... Uh, a secretive and, I, I would guess, um, anonymous <laughs> visitor to Whiterun to not only becoming a full-fledged citizen, but becoming a thane, a war hero. Fancy yourself an alchemist, hmm? Never could get the hang of that. Offered the purchase of property here. And Etienne is a little bit at a loss at this point because it's almost as if somebody has lit some kind of beacon over his head. And I'm thinking that at this point he's going to be very, very nervous. Nervous about being located by the Thalmor. So I think for him, the sooner he gets out of Whiterun Hold, the better. Just for, you know, his own peace of mind. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for watching this episode of The Passage. I think in the next episode, Etienne is going to be packing up whatever he can and hitting the road. Um, and we are going to continue our mission to Markarth, understanding full well that this diversion has set us back probably a day and a half, possibly more. Um, so I don't, I don't know that he'll be getting much sleep tonight. But uh, I thank you for watching the episode, and I will see you next time.